All right, we're going to graph this quadratic equation. First of all, notice it's quadratic because there's a squared. The highest a variable, exponent on a variable rather, is 2. So because of that, there's a couple ways to graph a quadratic equation. The, the most fail-safe way to do it is to find the vertex first, to find the y-intercepts maybe if you can find it, and then maybe, if possible, find the x-intercepts. But it's not always possible because there's not always x-intercepts. We know it's going to be a quadratic equation, or a, a parabola, and it might be doing something like this, in which case it never touches the x-axis, right? And so you're not going to find x-intercepts. But they'll always have y-intercepts, and they'll always have a vertex, okay? So they won't always have an x-intercept, okay? That's the first thing to point out. So how do I find these things? Well, since this is in standard form, some books call it general form, the vertex is always negative b over 2a, comma, and then whatever you get when you plug that in for the y. So what's negative b? Here's your b. Here's your a, which is 1, right? So negative b over 2a is just negative 3 over 1. I'm sorry, negative 3 over 2 times 1. So it's negative 3 halves. Got it? That's your x-coordinate. What's your y-coordinate of your vertex? That's a little bit harder. What are you going to have to do? You're going to have to plug it in to find out what it is. So now I'm going to write y equals negative 3 halves squared plus 3 times negative 3 halves. See what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm plugging negative 3 halves in to the x's. And when I, get, when I square that, I'm going to get 9 fourths minus 9 halves plus 2. Let's get common denominators. So this is 9 fourths minus 18 fourths plus 8 fourths. Change it all into fourths, right? That's negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1, so negative 1 fourth. Okay. So negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves is right here. Let's say this is negative 1, so this is negative 2, so negative 3 halves is right there. And by the way, watch what I'm going to do here. Let me erase this first. I'm going to... I'm going to draw in a vertical line here. Why would I do that? Why would I draw in a vertical line at negative 3 halves? Mm -hmm, because we know it's a parabola. And we know that the vertex, wherever the vertex is, which is right here. See how it's just barely below the x-axis? There's my vertex. I know that it's symmetric there. So it's either going to do something like this or something like this. And it might be fatter or thinner than that, but it's got to be a parabola, and that's got to be the axis of symmetry because the x corner of the vertex tells you where the axis of symmetry is. You got it? So the next thing I'm going to do is find the y-intercept, and the y-intercept can be found very easily by plugging in 0 for x. So when I plug in 0 for x, I just get 2. So 0, 2. So 0, 2. Hey, if I know 0, comma 2 is a point, then what's the other point over here going to be? It's got to be symmetric. So yeah. see this distance right here? That's 1.5. Like one one so if I go 1.5 the other way, I would get to the point as well. So it's negative 3, positive 2. So I know negative 3, positive 2 is another point because I use symmetry. It's not an x-intercept. I use symmetry. That's the other reason why I drew in that line. Okay, let's find the x-intercepts now. Let me erase this and go down a little bit lower. Are there going to be x-intercepts on this one? Look at the picture. Are there going to be x-intercepts, or is it going to go the other direction? Is it going to cross the x-axis ever? Well, there's the vertex, and here's that y-intercept. So it's a, is it going to have to cross? Yeah, it Of is. course it is. So how do I find the x-intercept? Well, this is called factoring. This is where I set y equal to 0 and solve. So 0 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. And how do I solve this equation? This was a two-week, three-week lesson for you in math, in Algebra 1. How do you solve a quadratic equation? There's three different main ways. I mean, you can either just you can just do it the you can do it the really complicated way, which is putting in quadratic formula, but mm -hmm. that's not very good. Efficient. Quadratic formula is one way, but you're right; it's not the most efficient. The other one is with B and C. I I, I know. It,
I know how it works. That's it's called completing the square. Yeah. Completing the square is another way, which a lot of people hate, but actually you're going to have to learn. You're going to have to learn how to do that for your next class, but we don't have to do that now necessarily. What's and then there's also graphing. You could actually just plug it in your graphing calculator and look for the intercepts. A lot of people like to use that method. Yeah. Not the best method. To, I mean, it's actually a good method to use, but some people rely only on their graphing calculators and they don't understand them. And it's sometimes a negative, but it's a good one. You could graph it. Or the last way is, how about factoring the F word of mathematics? Can you factor this equation? You actually can. X plus 2, X oh, yeah. plus 1. And why would you want to do that? Factoring is the easiest way to solve if they factor. And if you know how to factor. Why would you want to do that? Well, because now the zero product property says that if one thing times another thing equals zero, the only way that I can happen is if either this thing equals zero or this thing equals zero. And how are you going to make x plus 2 equals zero? What does x have to be? X would have to be zero. X wouldn't have to be zero. X would have to be negative 2. Oh, wait, yeah. And how about for this one? How would you make that equal zero? x would equal negative 1. So there are my two x-intercepts, negative 2 and negative 1. Negative 2, oh. negative 2 is right there, and negative 1 is right there. Hey, look at that. Those are my two x-intercepts, negative 2 and negative 1. Notice how it's symmetric. So now what you do is you draw carefully. You draw in And there's your parabola. The long way.